A note to every other player in the NBA, when Brooklyn Nets star Kevin Durant is driving straight at you, get out of the way. When he is in stride for a deep three, try to jump as high as possible. The man is nicknamed the Slim Reaper. Why? Because he is slim and brings death upon the opposing team's game with his unworldly skill. He is big, tall, and long, and makes posters out of many NBA players, and they are nothing short of jaw-dropping, especially when he does it in the playoffs. To celebrate the greatness that is Kevin Durant, let's take a stroll down memory lane to his 10 best highlights. But before we jump into the top highlights, dunks, and plays of Kevin Durant's career, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. 10. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. The Knicks make superstars out of players. However, those players usually play for the opposite team. For a few moments, Kevin Durant was in a world by himself. A roaring crowd became silent as the reality of a rare game-winning shot settled in. Durant made a three-pointer from the right wing as time expired and finished with 30 points to lift the Oklahoma City Thunder to a 101-98 win against the New York Knicks. Once I let go, it felt like everybody went silent, Durant said. And once it went in, I really couldn't hear too much. I was just looking towards the bench. Once I snapped back into it, I really heard the crowd. That's one of the all-time best feelings that I've had so far in this league. Durant was tightly guarded by Danilo Gallinari, but connected while leaning back in front of the Knicks bench. 9. We're in an era of the NBA where 6'7 to 6'10 inch players are theoretically capable of blocking shots, running the middle of the break, and dunking on players taller than them. And yet, we're still utterly shocked when Kevin Durant does all three in one awesome sequence during the Oklahoma City Thunders game against the Dallas Mavericks. That's how eye-popping this play was. Wow. 8. With his team trailing by a single point in its first 2012 playoff game against the Dallas Mavericks, the defending NBA champions at the time, Kevin Durant took the ball with 9 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Sean Marion, an elite defender, was glued on him, so Durant had to work his magic. Rather than pulling up for a three-pointer, which was what Marion anticipated, Durant took him off the dribble. He went to the right, he slowly spun around, and dribbled to the middle. With great quickness, he pulled up and, over Marion's outstretched arms, he launched a spectacular one-handed floater. Wait, what? Of course, because Durant's shooting touch is pretty much as smooth as silk, the ball bounced off the rim straight up into the backboard, which redirected the ball into the net. Totally just like the Durantula planned. With the game-winning shot, Durant led the Thunder to a sweep of the Mavericks and all the way to the NBA Finals. Seven. This is one of those plays that I will not do much talking. I will let the video do the talking. Why? Because Durant is straight up disrespectful, filthy, and hard. R.I.P. JaVale McGee's defensive prowess. 6. At the time, KD was just 10 games into his career. Durant made a buzzer-beating three-pointer at the end of the second overtime in the Seattle Supersonics' 126-123 victory over the Atlanta Hawks early in his career. With rookie Al Horford guarding him at the top of the key, Durant pumped once to get the defender in the air before shooting over his outstretched arm. Al Horford was right on it, but KD faded away, and fortunately, it went in. 5. Kevin Durant certainly knows his spot at Quicken Loans Arena. With the Warriors up by 3 points, Durant pulled up from that same left wing from the year before in the finals, except only deeper, to hit the dagger 3 in Cleveland. Both shots silenced the crowd and Cleveland. Both shots helped put Golden State one win away from an NBA title. That left wing belongs to Durant. Durant finished the game with 43 points on 6 of 9 shooting from 3 point range. 4. Well, it was a good run for Roy Hibbert in the NBA up until this play. However, the Slim Reaper just ended him. Put him right to bed. No, really, there's no coming back from this bad boy. Durant put Hibbert on a poster and may have just made sure that the big man can never try to block another shot again with a straight face. So there was Durant, driving past his man and into the lane with ease. Hibbert stepped up on him, which was admirable, but in hindsight, perhaps Durant should have gotten a free pass to dunk freely without anyone there. 
Instead, Durant made the challenge, threw it down on Hibbert's head, literally, and left the big man staggering around trying to find his balance. Before we jump into the top three, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Three. Coming off a screen, Durant was open for a split second as the ball was inbounded to him. Fading away from a good four feet behind the three-point line, KD let it fly. Just the sheer intensity of the moment makes this clutch shot amazing. And let's not forget that this is the second game-winning shot against the Mavs on this list for Durant. He must really have it in for them. Two. After Dallas took an early double-digit lead in the first quarter of Game 2 of this Western Conference matchup, Durant showed that he would have none of it as he silenced a raucous Dallas crowd with this highlight reel play. In this highlight, Durant drives right by a helpless Pejestra Jakovic and skies high over the outstretched arms of shot-blocking center Brandon Hayward. Needless to say, Hayward was no match for Durant's thunderous slam as Hayward was promptly whistled for a foul. Even though Durant got a technical for staring down Hayward after the dunk, that a and one play shifted the momentum back to the Thunder. 1. Golden State was behind 113-107 to after J.R. Smith made a three-pointer. After a Stephen Curry layup cut the deficit to four points, Durant scored the Warriors' next seven points, including the famous pull-up three in LeBron's face with 45.3 seconds remaining after grabbing the rebound on the other end. That was the best moment I ever had, Durant said. I made the game-winning shot in the finals against my effing idol, somebody that I really, really, really followed since I was a ninth grade high schooler. I felt like he was passing the torch to me. This wasn't a jaw-dropping highlight, but it belongs at number one because the magnitude of the shot, who it was against, and the fact that it was in the finals makes it timeless. Check out some of these videos.